Hi there. This is Larry coming to you with another Christ United Mother's Church video devotion. Today is November the 11th, 2023. This is Veterans Day, the 11th day of the 11th month. I just want to take a moment to thank those brave men and women who sacrificed so much for us, past, present, and future. We can't really fully understand and appreciate the sacrifice that so many made. But we can be grateful and express to them our gratitude. So join me today in taking the opportunity to, every chance you get to thank a veteran for their service. There are a lot that we won't get to thank, we'll never get to see again. But those that still remain with us, we need to show them that we appreciate what they've done because they gave up a section of their life. And in some cases, some gave up their entire life in order to serve our country and to protect us. And so thank a veteran today. Whatever branch of the service that you served in, whether it be Army, Marines, Navy, Coast Guard, Air Force, whatever branch of the service you're, you served in, maybe you still remain in the reserves. I just want to express my gratitude to you today. Thank you very much. And that's what I want to talk about today, thanks and gratitude. It's raining out here today, and I'm grateful because it's been awfully dry. We really needed the rain. And so here we've got a nice, gentle, soaking rain. And it looks like it's going to set in for a while, and that's good. It looks like that the temperature's going to change. There's going to be a change in the weather, as they say going to start getting a little colder, but, you know, it's only two weeks till Thanksgiving, so no wonder. It should be getting colder. And as our seasons change and things happen, sometimes we're discouraged, sometimes we're upset, but sometimes we're very grateful because it's wonderful to live in the part of the country we live in, at least I feel, because we get to see the seasons change. We get to experience spring, summer, fall, winter, and all those seasons have to offer. Now, granted, it's not always pleasant to go out and shovel snow or to rake leaves or to sweat when it's like almost 100 degrees outside, but it's that variation in the weather that's so attractive, I think. It's wonderful to see this, just the beautiful changes in the weather and all that the seasons have to offer. There's so many things in our world to be thankful for, to be grateful for. It's so easy to take things for granted. And sometimes we take things for granted because we have a sense of entitlement. Like it just, we, somebody somewhere owes it to us. But then there are other times that we take it for granted because we're just so doggone busy, we forget to be grateful. We're moving from one thing to another and we never stop to think, well, what, what I have to be grateful for? Look at all the things in my life family, friends, possessions, pets. But the greatest thing to be grateful for is the salvation that we have through Jesus Christ. What a wonderful gift. We should be continually grateful for the opportunity to come into his kingdom. He offers us salvation. And it didn't come cheap. Jesus gave up his place in heaven, came to earth, lived as a man, died on the cross, a terrible, cruel death for us, shed his blood that we could be forgiven of our sins, was buried and rose from the dead and lives forever and has given us the gift of the Holy Spirit to guide and direct us in our lives. What? And God has set all this in motion eons before we were even here. What a wonderful plan. What a wonderful offer God gives us. How thankful we should be. Psalm 100 is uh, it's an interesting psalm. It teaches us a lot about giving thanks. It says, Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him 
and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Isn't that wonderful? If you had not one thing to be thankful for other than that, that's worth being thankful for. His love endures forever. Think about that. His faithfulness continues through all generations. What God has said, God will do. His word is truth, and his word is dependable. Oh, my goodness. We have so much to be grateful for, don't we? So this Thanksgiving, when you're sitting around a table or wherever you are, give thanks. Really, give thanks. Count your blessings one by one, as the song says. Think about what you have to be grateful for. And think about the greatest gift of all, through Jesus Christ. And I know you won't be able to control yourself. You'll be like the psalmist. You'll want to shout for joy. And give thanks and praise to God. And I know that'll make your Thanksgiving even that much better. So I wish you a wonderful Thanksgiving. I thank you veterans for all you've done for us. And I look forward to seeing you again sometime real soon. But in the meantime, be thankful for everything from each heartbeat you get to the rain that we've got to the great gift of salvation that comes through Jesus Christ. We've got a lot to be thankful for. So all of us should develop that attitude of gratitude, shouldn't we? Well, you work on that, and I will too, and we'll see you again sometime soon. God bless you. Bye now.